Jonah says, I cried out. This is a very important thing, and, and there is a difference between praying and crying out. We usually pray, and there's an even lower level, which is reading. Some people say, I have read the Egbeya, the Coptic Orthodox Book of Prayers. But the Egbeya is to be prayed, not read. There are three degrees of praying. The first is that you read and daydream at the same time. The second is that you pray the words and actually feel them. And the third is that you cry out in your prayer. The difference between these three is large. They may have the same content. Someone would just read it while distracted. Another would pray it, focused. And the third would scream the words out of his soul. And we only feel the last one on difficult days because the crying out may not take place on normal days. At difficult times, like that in the whale's belly and times of life or death, we all cry out. And the most beautiful prayers are those with crying and screaming. That does not necessarily mean that the voice is loud. The mother of Samuel, Hannah, was crying out without saying any words. She only moved her lips. And she said to the priest, Eli, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit and have poured out my soul before the Lord. 1 Samuel 1.15 Her heart was screaming the words out, but none of them were pronounced by her mouth. Our Lord Jesus also prayed while crying out, but with no words coming out of his mouth. Our teacher St. Paul says when Jesus was at Gethsemane in Hebrews 5.7, he had offered up prayers and supplications with vehement cries and tears. The heat in a person's prayer makes him cry out. Whenever the prayer comes out with warmth, the response is very quick and the prayer changes your heart, your mind, and your life. Such warm prayers are probably equal to 100 regular prayers, and this is why our Lord allows us to have difficult days, to cry and scream and just let our feelings flow in the prayers.